Yo, yo, yo. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Charles, aka Faith Games, guys. And we just gonna jump right into this video, guys. Name of the title of the video is called Reprogramming Process. We're gonna jump right into the book of Jeremiah. This is gonna give you an idea of what we're talking about for this video, guys. In Jesus' name, let's get it. All right. It says, oh, sorry, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. We're going to read from 1 to 5, all right? It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So, the, so Israel is the chosen people of God. The Lord is saying, um, listen, this is not to be confused with the whole black Hebrew Israelite movement, all that. That's, that's. You, if you don't know by now, you know they're speaking false doctrine. All right? We're not talking about that. Okay? This is the Old Testament. Right? The prophet Jeremiah simply talking to those chosen by God. Right? Now, I know black Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite. Just because you say you're black Hebrew Israelite don't mean you're going to heaven. Period. All right? So, we're going to get that out the way early. For those that are going to be, oh, yeah. Just cut it out. Cut it out. All right? Thus saith the Lord, lean not. The way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, right? So be not dismayed. Don't put away, don't be upset by the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. So those that are against the signs of the heaven, hallelujah. Those that are against anything holy, guys, I'm telling you guys right now, separate from them. I'm going to be sharp as a blade in this video. I'm not playing no games, guys. The gloves is off. I got to keep it real. We're in a very, 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 very tumultuous time. I know the outside world. Matter of fact, the outside world is showing that. But you have to you have to ask for discernment in these times to understand what's truly going on. Okay? So, let's go. Let's continue, right? For the customs. Here we go. For the customs of the people are vain, right? Vain, vanity. They do it from themselves. They're trying to show out. They, they, they want the self gratification. They want, they want the likes. They want the love. They want the comments, right? Vain, right? And then that this is not just social media. This is the people you hang out with. These are the people that do things trying to get, um, trying to get uh, glory for for things that are so. I want to say uh, things that. Mm. Others may deem righteous, right? But we go on by the righteousness of the Lord, right? And the Bible says, do not your alms, right? Don't do your alms in front of people, right? And Matthew says, um, don't pray in front of people, right? Like like Jesus was telling the Pharisees, be careful for those that, that pray and sit on the highest, uh, the highest seats, right? Right? It says, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm trees, but speak not. Right? Guys, you got to pay attention. Like I said, slicing with the sword. Pay attention, guys. Stop letting your friends that you think because they say that they are in the church or that they 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 of God fool you guys. If they are uh, sayers of the word and not doers of the word, then you have your answer right there. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. If they are sayers of the word but are not doers of the word, then you have your answer right there. Okay? Period. Alright? It says be in the world. Christ says be in the world but not of it. What's the profit of man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Man should not, man cannot, cannot worship God and money. God and mammon. You can't do the same, guys. Can't do both. Alright? It is what it is. It is what it is. They are upright as the palm trees, but speak not. They must needs be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, like I was just saying, right? Don't, don't associate with these people, guys. I don't care how close you are to these people. 
I do not care. We are in a, a, a separation period like none other before. And I pray you guys open your eyes before it's too late. Okay? Um, it says, be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Sounds like your modern day hypocrites. Right? So guys, we're in a time, right? I'm going to look for the book of Revelations while I chat a little bit. We're in a time, right? Where this disgusting, nasty, demonic, satanic world is trying to twist everything that is holy and twist it into some demonic agenda to fool the people. And man, it is working, right? They done took the word pride. And made it represent homosexuality, which the Lord clearly says is an abomination, right? Um, and we know what happens with pride in the Bible, right? Pride comes before destruction. It is, guys, get, you can get upset if you want to. If you don't like the truth, you can turn this video off right now. Turn it off. Pride comes literally. See, they don't understand that everything is coming to 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 truth, right? Pride literally comes before destruction. Guys, you guys, guys, pray for discernment. The Lord is going to give it to you. But when he gives it to you, do not be upset or dismayed by what you may get. Real talk. All right. Um, I think it's Revelation chapter Two is what I'm looking for, man. Um, where? Oh, perfect. Okay, right here. Revelations chapter two, verse sixteen. Holy Spirit is. Oh man, let's get it. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. So I'm just going to show you guys. This is what Jesus Christ is saying in Revelation. Y'all see the red lettering? Right? I know you can't see the focus, but y'all see the red lettering. Right? Jesus is not coming to play no games. He's coming with a sword out of his mouth, guys. Right? He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, right? What did he give the people of Israel to eat when it was uh, with Moses, right? He gave them manna because that's all they needed to, to get by, right? The problem is most people want more, 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 more. They want to get greedy, greedy, greedy. And the Lord is literally telling you, I will give you everything you need. Just follow me, right? And will give him a white stone and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth. Saving he that receiveth it. And unto the angel of the church and Tyotara write. These things saith the son of God. Stop right there. Guys. The Lord is coming back. And he is not coming to play games. He is not coming to play games guys. Do not be confounded to the ways of this disgusting world, guys. You are stronger than that. I don't care if your best friends tell you. I don't care who it is. You separate from them. If what they're saying does not match the doctrine of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, then you separate from them. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. God is promising eternal life. I don't know what your homeboy and your homegirls is promising, but if it ain't, in accordance with this doctrine, you get out of there right now. I love y'all. Peace.